Chicago Travel Guide 2023. Planning a trip to Chicago? It's one of the best travel decisions you can make. And let us tell you why. Chicago is a city that offers a million reasons to visit. From its award-winning food scene to its stunning green spaces, iconic attractions, innovative theater, and vibrant neighborhoods. With so much to see and do, you might be bothered about the cost of travel in Chicago. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Hello and welcome to Paradise Planet. In this video, we will provide all the essential information you need to have an unforgettable trip. So stick with us till the end and let us be your virtual travel guide. Without wasting one more second, let's dive into what you need to know to make the most of your visit. What are the activities to engage in while in Chicago? No doubt, in Chicago, you will find an abundance of activities to keep you entertained. But here are the top 5 activities you shouldn't miss. First on the list, explore Millennium Park. Right in the heart of downtown, Millennium Park is a must-visit. Check out the famous Cloud Gate sculpture nicknamed The Bean and enjoy free concerts, art installations, and beautiful gardens. The best part? Admission is completely free, so you can take your time and soak in the atmosphere. Next, take an architectural boat tour. Hop on a boat tour along the Chicago River to marvel at the city's stunning skyline and architectural wonders. Learn fascinating tidbits about iconic buildings like the Willis Tower and the Wrigley Building and uncover the rich history of Chicago. Prices for boat tours range from $30 to $50 per person depending on the company and duration of the tour. Another option is visit the Art Institute of Chicago. Immerse yourself in the world of art at the renowned Art Institute of Chicago. Admire incredible masterpieces by legendary artists such as Van Gogh, Monet, and Picasso. Adult admission is around $25, while students can enjoy a discounted rate of approximately $19. You can also catch a Chicago Cubs game at Wrigley Field. Here you will experience the thrill of a Chicago Cubs baseball game at the historic Wrigley Field. Get caught up in the electrifying atmosphere as you cheer on the team. Ticket prices can vary depending on the game and sitting location, so it is best to check ahead of time. Next up, explore Navy Pier. Simply head over to Navy Pier, a lively entertainment destination along Lake Michigan. Enjoy thrilling rides, indulge in delicious food at various restaurants, shop for unique souvenirs, and soak up the breathtaking views of the city skyline. Admission to Navy Pier is free, but some attractions may have separate fees. Now, let's talk about money. Is Chicago an expensive city? Chicago can be a little pricey, but hey, it's all about what you want. The cost of accommodation, dining, and activities depends on what floats your boat. If you are all about luxury, downtown hotels and fancy restaurants might dent your wallet. But don't be afraid. There are also budget-friendly alternatives like hostels, affordable eateries, and public transportation to save some cash. With a bit of planning, you can have a fantastic time in Chicago without blowing your budget. Want to know how much to budget per day while in Chicago? Then you should stick with us till the end because you will find out. So let's talk about accommodation. Where do you find accommodation in Chicago? As a tourist, you've got plenty of options to choose from. If you are all about making friends and keeping your wallet happy, hostels are the way to go. Expect to shell out around $30 to $50 per night for a dorm bed. Weaker Park and Lincoln Park have some awesome hostels where you can hang out with fellow travelers. Now, if you're looking for a bit more privacy and personalized touch, Airbnb is your best bet. They've got a large variety of apartments and homes to fit every budget. Prices vary depending on location, size, and amenities, but you can generally find options starting at $70 per night. If convenience and full-on pampering are calling your name, fear not, Chicago is packed with hotels. Downtown ones might be a bit pricier, starting at around $150 per night for mid-range comfort. But hey, there are more affordable options in the outskirts or neighborhoods like Lakeview or River North. Remember, it all comes down to what you want. 
consider your preferences, budget, and how much comfort you crave. Oh, and a pro tip, book ahead, especially during peak seasons to snag the best deals and ensure you've got a cozy spot to rest your weary head. Before we continue, if you find this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to also hit that subscribe button to enjoy more travel-related content. Moving on, where can you eat in Chicago and what shouldn't you miss trying out? Know that this city is a haven for food enthusiasts with an incredible array of dining options that cater to every taste and budget. To truly immerse yourself in the Chicago food culture, you can't miss the chance to indulge in a slice of deep dish pizza at renowned spots like Lou Malnati's or Giordano's. A small pie will cost you around $20, but trust me, the cheesy goodness is worth every penny. And if you are in the mood for a classic Chicago-style hot dog, head over to Portillo's where you can enjoy one for around $5. If you are craving international flavors, make your way to vibrant neighborhoods like Chinatown or Little Italy. Here, you will find an array of authentic cuisines that will transport your taste buds. Prices at mid-range eateries can range from $15 to $30 per person depending on the restaurant and your choices. To fully immerse yourself in Chicago's thriving food scene, be sure to visit popular food markets like Italy or Revival Food Hall. These bustling hubs offer a tantalizing variety of dishes from different vendors, all at a reasonable prices. In Chicago, you will find dining options that cater to all preferences and budgets. Whether you're in the mood for comforting classics or seeking unique culinary experiences, this city has it all. Just make sure you come hungry and get ready for an unforgettable gastronomic adventure. Now, how do you get around while in Chicago? Getting around Chicago is a breeze with various transportation options to suit your preferences. The Chicago Transit Authority operates the efficient L-Train and bus system planning tools available on their website. For the L-Train, a journey costs $2.50 US dollars deducted from the convenient Ventra card obtainable at any L station. Cash tickets are $3 US dollar per ride with the $5 US dollar card fee refundable upon registration. From the airport, the train fare is $5 US dollars. City buses charge $2.50 US dollars. You should consider passes for added convenience. Options include a one-day pass for $5 US dollars, a three-day pass for $15 US dollars, and seven-day pass for $20 US dollars. Some other transportation options available in Chicago are taxis, water taxis, and ride rentals. With that said, this is one thing you should know. When visiting Chicago, be cautious of certain tourist traps to ensure a pleasant experience. Avoid excessively priced restaurants targeting tourists and offer recommendations for authentic and affordable dining. Beware of common scams like unauthorized ticket sellers and street vendors peddling counterfeit goods. Stick to reputable sources for tickets and purchases and safeguard personal and financial information. By staying vigilant and being informed, you can navigate Chicago while avoiding tourist traps and enjoying a safe visit. So if you've been wondering how much money you should set aside per day in Chicago, this is it. If you are backpacking through Chicago, you can expect to spend around $70 US per day. This budget will cover your stay in a hostel dorm, getting around using public transportation, cooking your own meals, and exploring free attractions like walking tours, parks, and beaches. Oh, and don't forget to bring sunscreen. Now, if you're looking for a bit more comfort without breaking the bag, a mid-range budget of approximately $215 US per day should do the trick. This will get you a private Airbnb or a private room in a hostel. The freedom to enjoy eating out for most meals, a couple of drinks to unwind, the occasional taxi ride, and some paid activities like visiting museums or going on a bike. But if you are feeling fancy and ready to splurge, you can offer a luxury budget of 400 US dollars or more per day. With this budget, the city is your oyster. You can stay in a luxurious hotel, indulge in dining at any restaurant you fancy, sip on a fancy drinks to your heart's content, 
conveniently take taxis or even rent a car and partake in a plethora of exciting paid activities. Remember, this is just the starting point for luxury and the sky's the limit. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more travel-related content. With that said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.